Okay, so welcome to part two of my solving the 4x4 Rubik's Cube videos. At this point, you should have all of the centers solved for, and also the centers should be correctly orientated. Uh, what that means is, is that if you're holding the cube like this, uh, the white center should be on the top, the red center should be in front of you, and the blue center should be on the right. Okay, it is really important that all of these centers are correctly orientated. Also, the opposite of white is always yellow, the opposite of red is always orange, and the opposite of blue is always green. Okay, so if the centers are not correctly orientated, um, you will not be able to solve the, the cube, so it's important to do that before you get started on this next step. And our next step is we need to match all of the edge pieces. What does that mean? We need to match the edge pieces. Let's take a look at this, uh, at this green and white uh, edge piece right here. Okay. Uh, notice how it is not, it's not matched. The, the piece that's next to it is red and green. So we need to find the other white and green edge piece and match it so they're right next to each other. All right, so let's look over the cube, see where the other edge pieces here it is okay here is the other white and green edge piece okay and before we start our algorithm we need to correctly position position these two green and white edge pieces okay um, so notice how they're both in the in the same inner layer they're both in the top inner layer okay that's not good you want to have one of them in the top inner layer and you want to have the other one in the bottom inner layer. So I'm going to take this green and white edge piece right here and I'm going to bring it to the bottom inner layer. All right, and you can just move any of the edge pieces any way you want to do that. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, um, so now notice how this green and white edge piece I just moved into the bottom inner layer and we still have our green and white edge piece from before and the top inner layer. Um, so now these two edge pieces are correctly positioned. And one more thing that we need to do before we get started with this sequence is we want to look at the top of the cube and make sure that there is a unmatched pair on the top of the cube. Okay? Um, which we do. We do have an unmatched pair. Notice how th this pair uh, is unmatched. This one's white and blue and this one's white and orange. Um, so we do have an unmatched pair on the top of the cube. Um, you need to have that in order to to start uh, this sequence of moves. Um, so now we're ready. All right, We have one in the top inner layer, we have the other one in the bottom inner layer, and we also have a unmatched pair on the top. Okay, um, so let's just get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to match uh, the pair that we're going for. So this green and white I'm going to match with the other green, green and white. So I'm just going to bring this piece over here. So notice how our our edge pair is correctly matched at this moment, but we screwed up our centers. Uh, notice how this center is screwed up. Um, so later on in this, we're going to have to fix the center pieces. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Um, so after we match this edge piece, we're going to bring it to the top of the cube. Um, so now our matched edge edges are at the top of the cube. We're going to replace the matched edge with an unmatched edge. Okay, this is our unmatched edge that I pointed out before. I'm going to replace this matched edge with the unmatched. All right, so I'm going to bring these two to where the green and white ed matched edges are. Okay, so now this unmatched edge, which we just replaced, I'm going to bring back down to the front of the cube. All right. And now our last move is we just have to fix the center pieces. All right. So uh, we need to bring these white center pieces back to the front of the cube. Um, so now our centers are completely fixed. And notice how we have our two green and white edge pieces, uh, which are correctly matched as well. Um, so that is the basic idea of matching your edge pieces. Um, this is what you need to do for every single edge piece on the cube. Um, so let's just keep on doing this. We'll do this uh, uh, one more time uh, just to show you what happens in case uh, in, in a different situation.
Okay, so here I want to show you a situation which is really common and happens usually at least once whenever solving for your edge pieces. Um, in this situation, we're going to go for this red and white edge piece. The other red and white edge piece is, uh, is right here. They're actually already correctly positioned because we have one in the top inner layer and we have one in the bottom inner layer. Um, so we don't need to move them. They're already correctly positioned. Um, the only thing that's different about this scenario is that the top of the cube has no unmatched pairs. Notice how the top of the cube all has matched pairs. This orange and white pair is matched. Uh, this white and blue pair is matched. Uh, this white and green pair is matched. And this yellow and blue pair is also matched. Um, and that's one of the conditions. You have to have a unmatched pair on the top of the cube. And this actually can be solved you know, very easily. Um, the only thing, you can always rotate any edge of the cube. Um, so let's just rotate this back edge of the cube so that there's an unmatched pair. Look at that, we already do. We already have an unmatched pair right here. Okay, so now we have a unmatched pair on the top of the cube and we are ready to start our sequence of moves. Uh, once again, our edge pieces, our white and red, are correctly positioned. And this time I'll do it the opposite way. I'm going to bring this edge, um, this edge piece, and match it with this edge piece on the right side of the cube. Notice how we mess up our centers when we do this. But now, the white and red edge pieces are, are correctly, uh, are matched. Alright, so now we're going to bring them to the top of the cube. Okay. Now our white and red edge piece are at the top of the cube, and we need to replace them with the unmatched pair. All right, so here is our unmatched pair on the top of the cube. So we need to bring this unmatched pair and replace it and put it in this position where the red and white matched pair is. So let's rotate it. Now we have replaced that with the unmatched pair. Let's bring it back down to the front of the cube. And now the only thing that we have to do is fix our centers. So let's bring this, this white, these two white center pieces back to the white side of the cube. And now we have correctly matched our red and white edge pieces, and we have not screwed up any of the centers of the cube. So I think you get the idea by now. Um, there is one more situation which you might come across. Um, this is when you only have two unmatched uh, edges. So I will show you what to do when you only have two unmatched edges left. Okay, so last but not least, here in this situation we only have two edge pieces uh, that are not matched. Uh, notice how we have uh, orange and yellow, blue and orange, and we also have an unmatched pair in here. It's the same orange and yellow, blue and orange. So there's only two edge pieces that are not matched. And whenever this happens, it's impossible to have an unmatched pair on the top side of the cube. So because of that, we can't solve these matched pairs, or we can't match these pairs the same way I taught you earlier in this video. Uh, we have to use this algorithm. And before I teach you this algorithm, we need to position uh, the, the edge, edge pieces in the correct position. So um, notice how this orange and yellow has to be in the same inner layer as the other orange and yellow piece, okay? This orange and yellow is in the top inner layer, this orange and yellow is in also in the top inner layer. And, and same goes for the other. The blue and orange is in the bottom inner layer, and the other blue and orange is also in the bottom inner layer. So uh, th that is the correct position that you need to have the pieces in before you start this algorithm. All right, and the algorithm goes bottom, outer, and inner layer clockwise, right clockwise, front counterclockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, front clockwise, and bottom inner and outer layer counterclockwise. All right, 
Now notice how our orange and yellows are matched and our blue and oranges are matched. Now we have completely solved all, or completely matched, I should say, all of the edge pieces of this cube.